Hey guys, happy motivation. Get your motivation. M -m -m motivation. Happy day, you guys. Back out in nature. Oh my goodness. If you guys knew, it's a different, it's actually a really nice view. Let me see if I can. Oh, I can't switch the screen while I'm on it. Um, but it took me forever to actually really find me a spot to actually do the, do the video. And I felt like I was emotionally triggered. I feel like the purpose of this video is to work on how to deal with your emotions, emotional triggers. And that's exactly what I had to deal with, finding the right location. So a lot of times when we are emotionally triggered, it's because of our ego. We have our idea of how we think things should work out, how we think a person should operate. And when, when it is not going how we perceive it to be, we get emotionally triggered. Or we can have other trauma things that happens in our lives, again, that we feel like um, shouldn't happen. And so we get emotional triggered. So what are some things that we can do to deal with them? Because again, we can't get rid of them. They're all, we're always gonna have emotional trigger. If you're a human being, the reason why we have emotions in the first place is a guidance system. It's to help us get to, to realize what's going on in our lives and how we can shift directions or whatever it is that we need to shift for our own well being, for our higher selves, right? So our emotions are important we don't want to get rid of them they're a good guidance system all right so we don't want to say let's get rid of the triggers let's just not have them no we're going to use them to our best to our ability to guide us to help us but sometimes we get overwhelmed with them and sometimes we make bad decisions when we do get triggered so how can we do that in a right in a good manner healthy manner number one slow down so the reason why I was triggered today is mostly because I was in a rush. I was trying to find the perfect location. I was like, let me hurry up. Let me do this video real quick. And just all of it. And it didn't go the way I wanted to, you know, now I'm holding the camera. <laughs> and so I had to let go of the ego and I had to slow down and actually just take a deep breath and be okay with slowing down. Sometimes we just need to slow down. That rush energy really takes anxiety um, up a notch and we start to just get triggered when things are not perfect. All right, so slow down. Number two is find the nearest mirror. Because a lot of times when we are, especially what's going on in the world, we see these crimes, we see these violence. And sometimes we take those personally for ourselves and we feel like it's something that we should have done or something we could do to help that we're not doing in, in terms of our society. So find a mirror and look in the mirror and tell yourself that you love yourself. Being there to support yourself. Because sometimes we feel like, you know, these people who are victims to violence, to racism, like, how, why wasn't I there to help? Or how can I do that? What should I do? And sometimes we feel um, defeated. So one thing to do to keep supporting yourself through these tough times is finding a mirror and telling yourself that you love yourself and actually really feeling those feelings. Number, number three, tapping. So this is the emotional freedom technique. EFT tapping and check out my my video on tapping when I actually show you how to do tapping to release emotions that's stuck in your body that's why I'm big on movement because we get emotional we get motions stuck in our bodies and we start having issues so tapping 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 along I can't do it because I'm holding the phone but check out my my tapping video on how to do tapping number four all right All right, sometimes we just need to be present. Sometimes we just need to be still. Sometimes we just need to be aware that we having these feelings. Actually just being there with your feelings, being present, you know, and not really racing in your head trying to fix something. Sometimes the emotions don't need to be fixed, but just need to be acknowledged. So being able to just sit with your emotions, not trying to fix or change anything, but actually just being there with yourself. All right, number five, get the writing, write stuff down. 
write things down when you're feeling some type of way. Just write them down. Write, write, write. Write it down. Write, write, write. Whatever you just get a pen, just start writing. Sometimes you'll write things that uh, you didn't even realize you were feeling. And sometimes we're not even realizing it and write it down. Number six, try drinking something warm, like some tea. Cause sometimes like the emotions really get charged up. Having warm water or warm tea, something warm kind of soothes the emotions, calms down the nervous system. So having something warm like soup, even drinking some soup is a mindful practice. But something warm, it slows us down, slows the nervous system down, relaxes you. So try that. Seven, my favorite, meditate. These are, this is something that you should be doing daily. If you're not meditating during the 2020, what are you doing? <laughs> meditate. Check out my meditation uh, videos. I got tips on how to do practice meditation. Check that out. I got uh, several series, uh, five minutes up to 30 minutes. Check that out. So meditate. Meditation. Observing. Becoming an observer. Sometimes we get so attached with what things are going and we can't, we get stuck and we can't move forward because we're so attached to our ego and what we think should be. So then meditation allows us to become observer of our reality. We become, we, we begin to just look. And when we can just look and become observer, we become clear. Now we know the steps that we need to do. All right, that's slowing down. All right, last, last but not least, um, number eight, put on some beats, put on some music, put on something that you love. Like, but I'll say beats and not so much as um, song lyrics, because sometimes the song lyrics in, invokes another emotion for you. So you just go into one emotion to the next because you, you can be like, oh, I'm in love. Oh, I hate that person. Oh, depressed. You know, some. So I'll say get some classical some jazz just some sounds just sounds allow yourself to just listen to the sound um that does a lot so hopefully that was helpful you guys that was eight tips on how to deal with your emotional triggers my name is venus washington hopefully this nature in the background can give you a little soothing soothing i wanted to show this hill back here Let's see if I can. I know nobody likes when the when the camera moves too much. Sorry. But hopefully that background can give you some peace and serenity. All right. So my name is Venus Washington. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. Share it if this video was beneficial. And you guys have a great rest of your week. Peace.